हेलो एवरी वन मैं नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इन्वेस्टमेंट फंक्शन वट डू यू मीन बाई इन्वेस्टमेंट एक्सपेंडिचर एक्सपेंडिचर ऑन न्यू कैपिटल एसेट लाइक बिल्डिंग न्यू ऑफिस और परचेजिंग न्यू इक्विपमेंट विल बी कॉल्ड इन्वेस्टमेंट एक्सपेंडिचर एक्सपेंडिचर ऑन न्यू कैपिटल एसेट लाइक बिल्डिंग न्यू ऑफिस और परचेजिंग न्यू इक्विपमेंट विल बी कॉल्ड इन्वेस्टमेंट एक्सपेंडिचर इन्वेस्टमेंट एक्सपेंडिचर मेनली क्लासीफाइड इन टू टू पार्ट इंड्यूज इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑटोनोमस इन्वेस्टमेंट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वन बाय वन वी डिस्कस अबाउट ईच फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल सी इंड्यूज इन्वेस्टमेंट इंड्यूज इन्वेस्टमेंट इज मेड विद द मोटिव ऑफ प्रॉफिट इंड्यूज इन्वेस्टमेंट इज मेड विद द मोटिव ऑफ प्रॉफिट दैट्स वाई डायरेक्टली इन्फ्लुएंस्ड बाय इनकम एज इनकम इंक्रीज इंड्यूज इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑल्सो इंक्रीज बट एज इनकम फॉल इंड्यूज इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑल्सो फॉल फॉर एग्जाम्पल कंपनी इज इन्वेस्टिंग इन न्यू मशीनरी बिकॉज डिमांड फॉर इट्स प्रोडक्ट इज कंटिन्यूज इंक्रीजिंग सो हेयर कंपनी इज इन्वेस्टिंग बिकॉज इट्स इनकम इज इंक्रीजिंग सो मोटिव ऑफ दिस इन्वेस्टमेंट इज मेकिंग प्रॉफिट on on x x we have income y x we have investment induce investment as income increase from y to y1 induce investment also increase from i to i1 so we can say that induce investment and income have a direct relation as income increase induce investment also increase because motive of induce investment is earning a profit this i i is our investment curve next is autonomous investment autonomous investment is not depend on income autonomous investment is not depend on income that means autonomous investment is not influenced by change in income and autonomous investment mainly made by government on infrastructural activities as we know government mainly do investment for welfare of society not for making a profit or income on x axis we have income on y axis we have autonomous investment here you can see our income is increasing from y to y1 from y1 to y2 but our autonomous investment is constant because autonomous investment is not influenced by change in income now we will say determinants of investment investment mainly have two determinants marginal efficiency of investment and interest rate one by one we discuss about each so what is marginal efficiency of capital expected return from additional investment will be called marginal efficiency of capital expected return from additional investment will be called marginal efficiency of capital suppose company is going to invest in new technology and cost of this technology equal to 50000 and company expected uh, profit from this technology is equal to 70000 70000 minus 50000 equal to 20000 so 20000 is expected profit of company and cost is 50000 so we can say that uh, and expected return equal to 40% this expected return will be called marginal efficiency of capital because marginal efficiency of capital is expected return from additional investment marginal efficiency of investment mainly depend on two things supply price and prospective yield supply price simply is cost of producing or supplying new asset or we can say that cost of replacing existing asset will be called as supply price so supply price is a price at which new capital asset can be supplied or replaced prospective yield net return on capital asset in its entire life span after deducting all operational cost and expense will be called prospective yield net return on capital asset in its entire life span after deducting all operational cost and expense will be called prospective yield for example life span of machine is 3 years first year return is 1000 second year return is 1200 and third year return is 1300 when we add it will become equal to 3500 operational cost and other expenses are equal to 500 3500 minus 500 equal to 3000 this 3000 will be called prospective yield because prospective yield is net return on capital asset in its entire life span after deducting all operational cost and expenses
नौ से फॉर्मूला ऑफ कैलकुलेटिंग मार्जिन एफिशिएंसी ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट प्रोस्पेक्टिव इल्ड डिवाइडेड बाय सप्लाई प्राइस इनटू हंड्रेड सपोज सप्लाई प्राइस और वी कैन से दैट कॉस्ट इज ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड एंड ईयरली और वी कैन से मंथली प्रोस्पेक्टिव इल्ड इज टू थाउजेंड सो इट विल बिकम इक्वल टू टेन परसेंट दैट मीन्स यूर एक्सपेक्टेड रिटर्न फ्रॉम एडिशनल इन्वेस्टमेंट इज टेन परसेंट दिस टेन परसेंट विल बी कॉल्ड मार्जिन एफिशियंसी ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट सेकेंड डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट इज इंटरेस्ट रेट कॉस्ट ऑफ बोरोविंग मनी फॉर इन्वेस्टमेंट पर्पज विल बी कॉल्ड इंटरेस्ट रेट कॉस्ट ऑफ बोरोविंग मनी फॉर इन्वेस्टमेंट पर्पज विल बी कॉल्ड इंटरेस्ट रेट interest rate and investment have a inverse relation if interest rate increase that means cost of borrowing money increase as a result investment fall if interest rate fall that means cost of borrowing money fall that's why investment increase so we can say that interest rate and investment have a inverse relation now we do comparison between marginal efficiency of investment and interest rate if marginal efficiency of investment is more than interest rate then our investment will be profitable obviously marginal efficiency of investment is return on investment profit on investment and uh, interest rate is cost of investment if profit is more than cost our investment will be profitable on the other hand if marginal efficiency of investment is less than interest rate then our investment is not profitable that's why businesses try to invest till margin efficiency of investment become equal to rate of return so this is all about investment function i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care